Hello, I'm Philip Lord. Today we're doing a towing test of a Land Rover Discovery 4 3 litre TD V6. Let's go hitch up a van and see how well it tows. 3 litre TD. There's loads of new stuff in the new Discovery 4. It's had a, a cosmetic nose job, new front end, new bumper bar, new headlights, LED technology front and rear. Uh, it's also got a new dashboard here. Uh, it's got new features like uh, the optional, in this case, uh, stop start, keyless ignition system. Uh, it's got uh, uh, the main key feature of this vehicle, the 3 litre HSE, also available in SE trim, is the twin turbo diesel V6 engine. It's got fantastic outputs, 180 kilowatts of power at 4000 RPM and a massive 600 newton metres of torque at 2000 RPM. Now, the interesting thing about the torque is that Land Rover claims, thanks to the twin turbo uh, parallel sequential turbo system, that the uh, that the Discovery can access 500 newton metres of its 600 just off idle. So this virtually eliminates uh, uh, turbo lag, and that's how it turns out when you're driving it. Really, there is there is a slight moment of of lag, but hardly any, and then it's straight into the uh, torque. And wow, just the, the 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 pickup is fantastic. The Discovery comes with its own tow bar, uh, and. Uh, trailer wiring as standard. So all you need to do is fit those up and uh, get get towing. Now, Land Rover does not recommend the use of load levels, so you might want to consider that if you have a heavy ball load van that you wish to tow with. It does have air suspension, however, so it will level any uh, load placed on the back of it. But uh, the reality is, is that. Um, you can't uh, you can't transfer the weight the ball weight to the front of the vehicle with load level as in this instance, as uh, Land Rover hasn't tested for it and uh, therefore doesn't recommend their use. As for towing with the Discovery 4, it's a really comfortable, easy vehicle to tow with. with as as you can imagine, with the 600 newton meters of torque, plenty of response. You can just motor on up hills. Good engine braking down descents. Um, it, fuel consumption was about 15 litres per 100, which is up about 6 litres per 100 on an easy solo highway cruise. So in other words, if you're not towing, you get about 9 litres per 100 on a highway trip. Uh, if you do a lot of short distance uh, inner city commutes, you're going to look at about 14 to 15 litres per 100. The trailer that we towed with that was a tandem axle van weighing only 1500 kilos we would have preferred to tow with something a little bit heavier but um, as Land Rover doesn't like to put uh, electric brakes onto its uh, some its vehicles we've had to uh, to go with a, a van that we could get that had override brakes in this instance stability when towing was fantastic you could feel a slight amount of pitching a uh, slight amount of yawing but certainly nothing to be concerned about, uh, nothing untoward, nothing violent, nothing uh, that you would uh, feel concerned about. The only thing that I would say about its towing ability is that the air suspension, which is, provides a beautiful lush ride when, uh, when unladen, does firm up a little, and so you can feel it uh, riding over bumps a little bit more obviously than it did without the uh, trailer behind. The Discovery feels like a wide vehicle on the road, however it's really easy to drive, the seats are really comfortable, it's got a very clever interior layout where the back seats drop flat so you have a flat cargo floor, everything, all the controls are easy to access and um, it handles really well for such a big four-wheel drive on the road. Off-road, of course, the Discovery 4 is fantastic. It's got the uh, five terrain response modes, which allows you to basically set up the vehicle to best handle whatever off-road conditions you're in, whether it be snow, mud, or sand, uh, rocks. This system will enable you to go through such terrain with a customised setting of traction control, throttle response, air suspension, all set up. Uh, by the engineers for those sorts of uh, terrains that you're negotiating. Um, of course, being a Land Rover, 
Land Rover prides itself on its off-road ability and they've done really well here of course with the Discovery 4. It's got a very sophisticated diff locking and traction control system as well as height adjustable air suspension to give you better clearance. Uh, all its underpinnings are nice and solid and strong so uh, if you do ground it it's not going to be uh, easily damaged. It's just a fantastic vehicle. I'm Philip Lord, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.